Welcome to Made in Montgomery. I'm your host, Susan Kennedy. Montgomery County is often referred to as the economic engine of the state of Maryland. A healthy, diverse business economy here sets us apart from counties across the nation. In this show, we take a look at some of those businesses, large and small, that keep the engine chugging here. There are plenty of events that take place here in our area, from concerts to political events to speeches. There are attractions and activities for everyone. In this next segment, we take a look at a company that's located in the little town of Laytonsville that takes its show on the road to the big city. When Rich Benning and his business partner, Bernie Burris, were working for a small production company back in the 90s, they thought the industry could use a staging and sound company. So they started up All Stage and Sound. The company launched in 1994 with a set of stage decks the two bought in Ohio and hauled back to Maryland with Benning's Camaro. The first year of business was slow, but today All Stage and Sound is one of the most successful businesses of its kind on the East Coast. We've been around for 20 years and the growth has been pretty amazing and we do some of the most high profile events in the D.C. area. Uh, Fourth of July celebration on the mall. We did the Rally to Restore Sanity with John Stewart and Stephen Colbert. Um, we do an awful lot of jobs in all the major museums in D.C. We've done hometown holidays in Rockville as well as many, many other things uh, in and around the D.C. area. After starting off for a number of years in an old farmhouse off Woodfield Road, the company moved to its current location in Laytonsville, right in the heart of town. Laytonsville specifically is very good for us, and so we, we do deal with their rules and regulations, and Dan Pratt, who's the mayor. It's a great day in Laytonsville today. And the, his predecessors have always been very supportive of, of us. I've had people come in and actually say, um, what do you do here? And uh, which is kind of, and we, we try to explain it. And, uh, but obviously location is, is the ticket for us. I mean, if we were up in Frederick, the, the distance that we'd have to travel to get into D.C. And, and most of our business is in the D.C. area, probably 70 percent. Um, you know, so, but no, it's, you know, if we were somewhere hidden completely, it wouldn't bother us either. But being on 108 is absolutely fine as well. This specialty business that started out with just Benning and Burris is now a company of 40 employees that grosses about $4 million per year. Things are really busy in the summer and fall months with as many as four events running in one day. We don't try to be necessarily the most cutting edge company, but we try to be cutting edge for our customers with the things that we need most of all. We don't do big concerts and that sort of thing, so we're not trying to do that or be that. And there's a lot of companies in the area that do that sort of thing, and they are our customers as well. But the, what we do offer is, like I said, the small stealth systems that sound really, really great. With that many crews going in all directions, it's the job of Bernie Burris to keep things running smoothly. The company used whiteboards to keep their schedule straight until Benning's son came in one day. My youngest son came in and wiped off the entire <laughs> bottom of the schedule. I, I, yeah, yeah, no backup on no a whiteboard. No backup, no backup on a whiteboard. <laughs> That's right. They then asked a friend to develop a computer program that would keep them on top of their game. Tell us a little bit about how this interesting program works. Okay, this is our scheduler program. It's uh, two 60-inch uh, monitors, and the first one is this week, and the next one is next week. And it goes uh, from Sunday to Saturday, and from Sunday to Saturday. Now, I see these yellow days here. These are busy days, right? Busy days. Each of the salesmen can come out and take a look at the system. They can also uh, access it on their computer, uh, what I see and they can see if they can add a job or change the job. Here is the uh, brains. This is the input and the output that I put in all the information and I update it to that. So I just go over where the teacher of the year, the little finger comes up and I click it. Oh, okay. And it brings it up right below you. And I'll bring it up, I'll drag it up. This is the, the name of the job, the address, the hours, the crew, the time they're supposed to be in the warehouse. Also, the lock there that you see on some of these means that there is security because a lot of the jobs in D.C., we deal with some, uh, you know, the president, vice president, um, a lot of uh, very important people in D.C. You come a long way from the days of just you and Rich. Yes, yes. As the business has grown, the company has taken over space in several buildings in downtown Laytonsville for state-of-the-art equipment like stick speakers, wow. 
Wow. Wireless LED up lighting and mobile stages that come in all sizes. We're always looking at what we can do, and it has to be cost effective too, because you can't just spend money to spend money. And a lot of times you don't know if, if buying that LED up light for $1,000 is going to pay off in the long run. But for the most part, it's what our customers want, so we really try to listen to what the customer wants, make intelligent buying decisions, and go there. And his secret to staying in front of the game? Innovation. I, I'm an outside-the-box thinker, so I'll try things that some, sometimes my guys are either scratching their head or rolling their eyes at me. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work, but I think if you're not willing to take some risks and try new things that other people haven't tried before, that's when you get stuck in, in you know, uh, not moving forward with, with the new technologies. Benning has spent his entire life in Montgomery County. He and his three children, all products of Montgomery County Public Schools. Even though his business continues to grow, he has no plans to leave the county or Laytonsville. He says he's where he's supposed to be. Though his schedule can be grueling, he looks at each day as a new challenge. I really love the business. We're, we're always somewhere different. You know, as I tell our guys, working for us, the hours may be really difficult, but you look over your shoulder and there's the SR-71 Blackbird. How many times do you get to do that? So it's, it, it's really a unique business.